That first foul, if that. Yeah, that was really quick. They definitely want to try to keep him out of foul trouble. You know, Sanford doesn't play a lot of guys a lot of minutes. You know, their starters play a lot of minutes. Um, and they got a few guys that come off the bench, so to get somebody in foul trouble early would be in trouble. Brandon Austin with his 49th. For sure. Facilitate they, points. Yeah, they, they run the team and get everybody involved. That's Sharkey. Three, Myron Gordon. Rebound. Got it. Austin. Yeah, that's a strong move with a defender right on him after getting that offensive rebound. 5 nothing, Sanford, 18-25 remaining. Here's the sure facilitate they, points. Yeah, they, they run the team and get everybody involved. That's Sharkey. Three, Myron Gordon. Rebound. Got it. Austin. Yeah, that's a strong move with a defender right on him after getting that offensive rebound. 5 nothing, Sanford, 18-25 remaining. Here's the... Right on the baseline. There's Austin open for a three. Got it. One extra pass made that a wide open shot for Brandon Austin. It was a good kick to the corner on the drive. And one extra. 20 remaining here in the opening half. Good ball movement around the outside. They got to keep looking at Guerrero inside too. Myron Gordon gets that friendly roll. Approaching three minutes gone by. In in his face. Around it goes, another three that won't fall. Connor Kern can't find the mark. Here comes Sanford and Gordon with the left-handed finish. And a timeout taken by the Citadel Bulldogs. It is 12-0 Sanford at the sixth. One that will drive it and get it in there. They needed that to see it, you know. One thing for the Citadel, they're not going to stop shooting them. It's going to keep going up, so Sanford's got to keep scoring, too. They are second in the nation in three-pointers attempted. Soft, smooth jumper, Josh Sharkey. Yeah, the Citadel really needs to find a way to get Frierson involved here. He's, he's had a rough couple last game. Remaining. Both teams will make some changes at the next horn. And we talked about Frierson, almost all his shots are threes. Kearns, it's about the same thing. You know, over two-thirds of his shots are three-pointers. Well, Brandon Austin staying real hot. He has 12 points. And yeah, that rim looks real. For his leading score, Ruben Guerrero has not been able to get a point. He had a couple of shots underneath, and he's got... That's a 22-point turnaround for the Citadel. There it is on the low block for Guerrero. Can he finish? Yes. That's a great, great look, good move. Went up strong with they got to get him involved and they got to slow down Frierson. He's at Charleston, South Carolina. Enrollment on campus is only 2,300. And most of them, a good portion of them, are athletes of some kind. That's nothing but swish. What a sound. 15 points and a half for Brandon Austin. I watched Citadel pointing out where Austin was the whole way through as he cut a playbook right now with just a little bit of faux, three-quarters court pressure, making the Citadel think about something different. Three from the base. Got it! And that fast break, Thomas ran straight to that corner. He knew where his shot was. Shark has been great at five. So you, you take all these shots and you take that shooting percentage and add about five or six percent, and then we're right, <laughs> right up to about a 52-50 game. What a finish by Sharky. Again, the way that zone's kind of stretched out after Austin hit some threes, he needs to take it. So Austin thought about the three. He's hot. Loaded up but didn't shoot, so Sharkey goes for three and hits. Sharkey had a very gentle walk-in three in the, the end of the first half, and they just let him get another one. I don't think they want to leave him that open. 16 threes on the season, five three-pointers. He's had a heck of a season. Yeah, he's been running Sanford this whole season and doing a great job as the floor leader for him. And he'll finish with the left at a Philadelphia PA. Great screen up top, and he just took it to the goal fast, and the help side didn't get over there. And Sharkey now with 12 points. Yeah, We're talking about national. Not, it wasn't local. It, it wasn't regional. National sports guy. Tracy McGrady was one of them, and I forgot who the other one was. And they said, I clearly recommend Zion Williams sits out. Williamson sits out the rest of the season knowing he'll be the number one pick in the NBA draft. I think that's more of a, a kind of 
almost Tracy McGrady was one of them, and I forgot who the other one was. And they said, I clearly recommend Zion Williams sits out, Williamson sits out the rest of the season, knowing he'll be the number one pick in the NBA draft. I think that's more of a, a so now he's about at his average for what he hits per game. Fourteen to fifteen remaining in the uh, second half. Sharkey wanted a foul. He'll get two points. Sharkey's become a little more sure. As soon as that ball starts falling, it you can come back really fast. We've already seen it once at the beginning of this game. And I expect another another Citadel run, Allen, and then Guerrero. Guerrero, much better second half scoring wise. Six total points. That's Leading the arc, as you pointed out, coming into today, Frierson had, what, five made twos? Mm -hmm. Sharkey, the wing three. And with a sweet finish, and you said it, boy, they're allowing him to step up and step into some three-pointers. That's his third. Yeah, that's his third wide open. Start finding Sharkey on the outside, not just Austin. The Citadel cannot exchange threes with Sanford. They're down by nine. Here's a steal. Get ready for the dunk. That's a great second time Austin's played the passing lane on that skip pass. Been ready for it. And here comes the Citadel with a chance to tie or move within one. They miss down at their end, and the track meet is on. Austin from the wing, a three. Got it! Brandon Austin continues the hot night. You know, the guards are taking it in there hard. Rest are letting them play on both ends right now. One if that three had gone in, I don't know how uh, how long that rest would have been. Sharkey with the kick out. Lockage keeps it alive. Myron Gordon puts it through. Sixty-three fifty-five. The basket there. They're down within five again, the Citadel. And Frierson, their leading scorer, currently on the bench. Well, Frierson came in at that last stoppage. He's back on the floor after just a real quick break. Myron Gordon, a three for a 12-point night. <laughs> so Austin has now tied his career high with 25 points. Five and a half remaining in the second half. Stallworth rejected by Guerrero. Great finish by Allen, running the floor well for a big man. 25 points. Five and a half remaining in the second half. Stallworth rejected by Guerrero. Great finish by Allen, running the floor well for a big man. How about your first two points of the night on a dunk you very much? Five and a half remaining in the second half. Stallworth rejected by Guerrero. Great finish by Allen, running the floor well for a big man. How about your first two? A lot of teams might have been put away by now. But a lot of teams don't live and die by the three-pointer like the Citadel Bulldogs. Yeah, Sanford seemed to have control most of the second, but maybe now. Yeah. Doing that to try to get those the guards and your, your quicker guys out on the perimeter more to try to stop that three-point shot. Two minutes remaining. Here's the red-hot Austin. Home run. Sanford needed that after a couple turnovers in a row. Career-high 28 for Brandon Austin.